kill. Right as the ground, and go get it. I am your host, Spike Man, back with another episode of the Hottest Thing Smoky Rap Weed TV podcast on Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. Go ahead, punch that subscribe button when it's now lit. Let it circle for me because of COVID. I can't pass. I need 12 beats, 6 for the COVID, 6 for that pin ass blunt. You tap that notification button, you got a circle. Cheers going up. So inclined with the cash app, MBMG214 is for building fun. Shout out to all subscribers, all the listeners, all the streamers and downloaders that we've had so far. Continue to keep it up, man. It's greatly appreciated. Today's topic, I don't know, man. It, it's it's kind of a freestyle because I didn't research it. I mean, I, I just want to speak on... Just speaking on... The, the kind of shit that's going on as far as the bloggers, the rappers, I, I don't know what the fuck, what you call them, but just the speaking down in general. Like, first of all, let's address it like this. Like, anybody doing something, don't you know that somebody else gonna try to do that same shit and try to do it better? Alright. That's the debate right there. But talking down on folks that's doing the same shit you're doing. Like, bro, come on. How the fuck you gonna fault somebody from doing the same shit that you doing? Using the same tactics you doing? Let me give you a perfect example. Say like the blog and shit. The blog and shit. You see certain... Certain ones have been doing shit a certain way for a long time, and it's been working for them. Say somebody like me, a small podcaster or somebody, I might strike an idea in somebody. Next thing you know, they're taking a piece of what I do, adjusting it to their format or to their program, and bam, they got something new now. But it ain't really new, is it? You know, if you copied somebody, but hey, people do that shit all the time, right? This is life, right? Remember I say life imitates art, so. But shit gonna get copied, but it's, it's a problem. Or it seems like the crab in the barrel type shit. When you got motherfuckers speaking down and talking about shit somebody else is doing, but they do the same shit. Like, remember, you were not always up there. You were not always that big on your platform. You know how you started, how you had to grind, how you had to climb your way up. You knew the shit you did to get there. So, so you see somebody that applies something from your shit to theirs, or to these three blogs, to theirs, or whatever. Whether it's blogs, business, t-shirts, hats, whatever the fuck. People gonna copy. People gonna copy everybody's shit. At some point, some way, somehow. A little piece or all of it. 50% or 75%. Or it could be just 15 or 10. But somewhere, somehow, they're gonna copy a little bit. They're gonna use something. They're gonna see something they can probably recycle for their own. But like... Just the crab in the barrel mentality of speaking down on somebody that's doing ultimately what you're doing. Like, we all, well, especially here in Texas. Since I've been here in Texas, everybody say it's enough money here for everybody to eat. Well, you know, case. That's true, but you got motherfuckers that still get robbed. Motherfuckers still robbing stores and banks and all this shit, so. Yeah, I, I guess I see it, but. Little old motherfucking blogger or podcaster that comes in, whether he has five followers, 50 followers, or 500, or 500,000. You know how he got there, right? It wasn't like snap of a finger, he there. 
No, he had to. He had to do some shit. He had to grind. But, you know, talking down on somebody, or speaking down on somebody that's coming up, that's like Michael Jordan. If Michael Jordan would have talked down as he retired on anybody else that ever wanted to play basketball again, some shit. Like, come on, bro. Like, you will sacrifice the whole game just so you can go out on top. As the go, as, as the go. Nah, people don't do that shit, bro. Life don't work like that. Motherfuckers gonna copy your shit, see something they can adjust to, or adjust with, or make adjustments to, and apply that shit to what's working for them or what's not working for them. That's life. I get that, but bro. Don't get to where you at and then forget how you got there. I mean, I ain't, basically I ain't talking or aiming this shit. Yeah, yes I am. Yes I am. I am talking and aiming this shit because, bro, for one, I'm aiming this shit at anybody who's talking down on another blogger. Or another podcast. Or anybody that's doing the same shit to you that they're doing. So, yeah, I'm aiming this shit, bro. So, I stand on that. Yeah. You can't be talking about this shit, bro. You really can't. Because you did the same shit. And then, what's so fucked up? Form, some of the formulas be the same. Like, nigga, you was a rapper. Started out a rapper. That shit didn't even go good for you. But I was a rapper. I you know, that shit, if I would have had that push, my shit was going to take off. But, you know, it didn't go good for me. So, you do the vlogging thing. I do the vlogging thing. They do the vlogging thing. He was a rapper. He, his shit didn't take off, so he vlogging. Like, bro, who the fuck you getting mad at? Why are you getting mad at? Because now, I mean, ain't this how half of these motherfuckers that came in the rap game came about? Oh, you heard him. Oh, you thought it was fire, you thought it was dope, but hey, I think I can do that. I think I can out rhyme this nigga, or out rap this nigga, or outperform this nigga, or do this better. Or I can drip harder, sauce more than this nigga, all that type of shit. That's how all this shit comes about, because you see them doing something, oh, I can do better than that. It's like females with their heel game or whatever. See this chick come over here with the heels all the way up to her motherfucking ankles or wrapping around a or somewhere near her calves. But then one bitch got to come in here with one that's all the way up her fucking thighs. That should be sexy. Yes. But it's just the point, the fact of the matter that motherfucker would go to that length. And keep in mind, both of them are uncomfortable as hell walking in the heels. <laughs> but you're going to do that shit. You gonna copy, repeat, and keep it moving. Shit, people gonna do the same shit just on different days. Mark my words, I said that, coin that. They do the same shit just on different days. I've been saying that. But yeah, man. If you're a blogger, a blogger, or whatever the hell you are. You trying to talk down on somebody else because they getting a few views. I mean, that shit shouldn't affect you. Like y'all say, it's enough money out here for everybody to get. Well, it's enough views to get. Goddamn, Corona is here. Ain't shit going on. Ain't a lot of people doing shit. Some shit is still open, yes, but some shit is not. A lot of motherfuckers are going to YouTube in the last shit, 10 months of this damn pandemic. YouTube has been on fire. Bro, to me, personally, I watch more fucking YouTube than I do TV. And I used to, I, I was a heavy TV watcher. You know, I had my favorite programs that I watched and it's on a regular daily basis. But here at my house, we don't have fucking cable. But the shows and the stuff that I like to watch, I can still get it via Netflix or Hulu or whatever. But I haven't been watching most of this shit. Like, 
I see Family Guy at night time, but shit, most of the time Family Guy seeing me, so. I'm not watching most of that shit like I used to, so. I'm not really watching much TV. But yeah, I've been, been plugged into YouTube like a motherfucker. Every morning waking up. Straight to the tube, see what done jumped off today. Like, like the shit with Sauce Walker. Like 2020, you sh I mean, 2021, you should have known this shit was gonna come in here with a bang. We should have known this shit. I said it. I said it was gonna be either something that happened, the trans side that's gonna, you know, either 2020 gonna go out with a bang or this bitch gonna come in with one. <laughs> Got a little bit of both, you know. But like I said, I've been on YouTube heavy, following all this shit from rappers getting their chains stolen, rappers, you know, beefing, rappers getting killed. Now you got Sauce Walker producing a paperwork party in the hood of Houston, and a, a hood of somebody he having the paperwork party for in the honor of and that motherfucker get shot up like bruh then uh you know blicky 100 I don't know if it's blicky 100 or big blick or whatever but nigga like you got people talking down on you for even letting somebody hold your chain like that. Like, bro, somebody tell you they're going cross country. Hey, I need to use your car. You just gonna let them go with no cash, no nothing. If they go over there and wreck your shit or something happen or get your shit stolen, we ain't, we ain't got nothing. Like, shit. But you let them wear your chain, go to Cali. Whatever happened, happened, bam, they come back, they ain't got it. Now they talking down on you. Calling you old ass nigga this, blah, blah, blah. <coughs> but it be the savagery of the internet with them comments that kill you, bro. Like, old ass nigga, you shouldn't have gave him chain. That's your dumb ass. Like, all this shit they saying, bro. <laughs> they gives no fucks. They pulls no punches. Yeah, man. I, I, I'm just trying to see how, how this shit got to this far. Because, alright, say for instance, you want to be the only blogger. Your shit going to get old real quick, bro. I guarantee you. And you know why? If you the only one everybody watching, people going to bitch get tired of watching this shit. Like, Say for instance, power. I done heard the hype on that motherfucker since it came out. I can honestly tell you, I have never watched an episode of that shit in my life. Niggas probably looking at me like, what? Yeah, nigga. A lot of the shit that a lot of people watch, I haven't watched. Like, the, uh, the last, um, uh, the damn, um, the last in Infinity War, I mean, uh, Avenger movie, like my wife, she watching all that shit now, I gotta go watch, catch that one, I never watched that one, I watched all, most of, the majority of the Marvel movies, but I haven't watched it, like a lot of this shit, like I don't, I, I don't, I guess I'm the most interesting introvert you'll ever meet, because some of the shit y'all do, I don't do. I'm not into it like y'all. And you ain't gonna force it on me. So, I'm sorry. But, for a motherfucker to see you doing something, and then they start doing it, but then talking down on you for doing it, like, bruh. Or even if they had been doing this shit prior. It still don't make this shit look better. That's crab in the barrel, bro. But <clears throat> we ain't got it yet. We ain't got it yet. Don't look like we trying to get it. We just trying to get that stimulus check. The 2K or 600, whatever, 26. Goddamn, just double it. Send it. Whatever. 
Cause you're gonna have to vote on another one soon. Shit. <laughs> Might as well double that shit up. But yeah, this is Rapper Week TV the podcast. I am your host with the little flash episode. Like I say, 2021 we gonna bring you more content. So we're gonna try to keep it fast and coming. But I just had to, you know, freestyle this one because. You know, you looking online, you know, you're seeing all this animosity amongst bloggers. Now it's animosity, well, it was animosity amongst the rappers. Then a- animosity toward the bloggers. Amongst the bloggers. Now, you know, everybody at each other's neck and shit. And for what? Y'all all, we, y'all basically are cohesive and work together whether you know it or not but I don't get it so if some crabs in the barrel have that shit do what you do just don't pull me down with you bro cause like I said I'm the most interested introvert you gonna meet you going over there they going that way I'm trying to go you know, this way but yeah go ahead punch the cash app mbmg214 it's for the building fund check us out stream and download at spotify iHeartRadio, soundcloud and more there's not too many new episodes on the soundcloud but hit the spotify in the iHeartRadio heavy basically i got my whole family on spotify like we all on that bitch so but yeah, points that cash out, NBMG214 if you want to support. We have buttons that you can tr- contribute to on the Anchor app. Just go to A-N-C-H-O-R dot F-M. Check out Rap Week TV Podcast. And select the tab of your choosing. Yes, we're paid to say that. But stay tuned for another episode. This has been episode number three. Of season two, subscribe, get locked in, notification bell, punch, bam, it's loud, and lit, lit, and loud. You locked in with us, but if you got that Reggie, I need you on the other side of the exit, please. Biggest backwoods burning. Let's go, man. Y'all stay safe, stay breezy, stay sanitized. We out till next one.